I'm Verna Takashima and I'm carving the Ohe Kapala which we use for printing on the kappa. We're using the bamboo, Hawaiian bamboo. This one is, well, it's, it's traditional pattern that I'm working on right now. Do you have most of them for your patterns? Some of them do, but I don't know which one this one is, this is. I really don't. What's it? Which I see you which have is? drawings of other patterns. Yeah, these are mostly ones that I've just made up on my own. Just kind of sketching out to decide whether it would look good as we're printing. Well, the Hawaiian, the Hawaiian or Kapala or the bamboo patterns are usually, it's much smaller. We can actually get it even thinner than these. I do have a few others that I've, I've worked on today. So you can see here where we use the ohe kapala in the traditional manner to make different patterns. So for example, this pattern will be used to create this line. And it's a matter of how you lay them next to each other which creates the larger design. So one particular pattern can be used in 20 or 30 different ways. Um, this pattern on top is just basically a triangle but it's a triangle that's used to create a larger triangle and so again um, it's a traditional pattern some of these like this one is a more contemporary design whereas this is a more traditional way of overlaying and repeating and part of the design comes from the use of negative space you can see with the different patterns, the lifted area is where the ink goes. But it's also where the ink is not that adds to the pattern to start to create a positive and negative effect. A wave here, what we call a nalu pattern because it looks like the waves, is right here where you can see the ink is on the lifted, whoops, sorry. The ink is applied and put on the lifted areas of the ohe kapala, but also the area that is not inked becomes part of the design, positive and negative, and that's very Hawaiian. And the um, patterns are used a lot in repetition. My name is Ka'iulani Di Silva, and I'm a kapa artist. I do this because um, it is a cultural practice, and I want my children to learn it, and they are practicing it. And um, we are rediscovering a lot of the traditional techniques that haven't been lost, but definitely have been dormant since um, you know, the introduction of cloth and material. So now we are uh, reclaiming a lot of the knowledge, rediscovering a lot of things, and sharing it as much with the next generation, and hoping more artists do this, because the more that do it, the more we learn. Do you have a website that you can promote or share? Um, no, I don't. I'm very traditional. <laughs> It's by word of mouth and um, ike. You na na and you watch and you learn. But we are here at Namea quite often, once a month, and we're happy to share all our knowledge with anyone who comes. Aloha.